Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 23435. This is a bigger build for Microsoft. This is a build that has quite a few interesting features. And in this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this newest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, we have the new gallery section in the file explorer, which is right now official for Microsoft. Until now, we were able to enable it as a hidden feature, but Microsoft officially announced it. And basically the content shown in this gallery section is the same as what you'll see in the all apps view in the photos app. The gallery section is optimized for accessing your most recent taken photos. If you also have OneDrive camera all backup set up on your phone, photos you take will show up automatically at the top of the view. You also have this collection button where you can click on manage locations to change where do you want the gallery section to gather content from. The gallery section also works from the file picking dialog. So basically you can just attach photos while using the gallery inside other apps, for example, photo editing apps and so on. Of course, in the gallery section, you have all these photos here chronologically categorized and you also have the slider in the right side. I think this is pretty interesting. But what you need to know is that Microsoft is slowly rolling out. So you most likely want to have it enabled by default on your computer on the dev channel. If you want to enable it, just watch some of my previous videos that I've made, which I showed you how to manually enable this using Vive tool. Microsoft is also working on certain visuals for the badging on the start menu. And you're going to see on the screen some of the different treatments that Microsoft is working on. I think this is pretty interesting. And of course, if you have those, you can always leave feedback to Microsoft to help out with the development. Also, Windows and Saturn will begin noticing a pizza icon in the command bar file Explorer. This icon denotes that an inside is previewing the Windows App SDK version of File Explorer. Functionality in File Explorer remains unchanged. It just switches from using WinUI 2 to using WinUI 3. We also have some narrator improvements regarding the traditional Chinese characters. More info about that in the article below in the video's description. And also Microsoft is introducing a new presence sensor, privacy settings and APIs. If you have a device with compatible presence sensors, you can now manage your privacy and block slash allow certain apps from accessing these sensors. No images or metadata is collected by Microsoft and all processing is done locally on the device hardware to maximize privacy. You will find these settings under settings, privacy, security, presence sensing if your device supports it. App developers with compatible presence sensors can target apps to request and read user presence information after requesting a human presence capability. You can learn more about their APIs from the links in the article below in the video's description. Now we also have two new different features. For example, if we right click on the taskbar and then go into taskbar settings, we will have have this new section search choose how search appears on the taskbar basically they moved the search section from up top to here they made it a different section and also we have a new option open search on hover when available this is a hidden feature it doesn't work right now but i think it's pretty interesting basically it will just open the search box on hover just as we're doing with the widget section and also we have some new improvements regarding the snap layouts and what you're going to notice if you hover over the snap layouts as you saw i opened two new apps the notepad and the paint app well in the snap layouts in addition to all these sections that we can divide our windows to we now have some recommendations regarding the apps that we currently have opened so i can click on this and it will just snap my existing applications into that i think this is pretty interesting i think this is quite a nice improvement from microsoft a huge shout out to phantom ocean 3 for also discovering the new taskbar setting and also these new variants for the snap layouts i think this is pretty cool so make sure to follow him on his twitter if you want to learn Learn more about hidden features like these. So this is all there is to it regarding changes and improvements in this build. Now let's talk about a few fixes regarding the taskbar and system tray. Microsoft fixed a few explorer.exe crashes that were impacting taskbar reliability. Also regarding input, they updated the text input slash enable touch keyboard auto invoke in desktop mode MDM policy to allow to as a valid value to enforce showing the touch keyboard on tapping an edit control even when the hardware keyboard is attached. Regarding the settings app, they fixed an issue that was causing settings crashes when navigating to various Windows update related pages in the last couple of flights. Regarding live captions, they fixed the issue that caused enhanced
enhanced speech recognition support installed through the language and region settings page to require restarting live captions if you switch languages in the live captions caption language menu on ARM64 devices. And they also fix the issue where you may not see install completion of enhanced speech recognition re required by live captions when adding a language through the language and region settings page and language feature installation progress may become hidden. Regarding the task manager, Microsoft improved the performance of the expand all slash collapse all view options on the processes page. And a last fix regarding the accessibility section, updated narrator's default for context level for buttons and controls to three immediate content name and type. Basically, this is all there is to it in this newest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel. I think this is quite an exciting build. And if you want to see the known issues in this build, make sure to check out the article below in the video's description. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Ozzy from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.